Hello everyone. Since last time I unboxed Ender 3 Pro with you, Carlos printed a lot of objects with this machine, and I found that the print quality is really good. It's quiet, and it used magnetic cushions as hotbed. These are advantages. So within a short time, many people ask about this machine, and they also bought it. Today, Carlos can't wait to unpack another machine with you, which is the Ender 3 version 2. Let's get started. Just a reminder, if you like the channel of Carlos the Organ Man, please click the subscribe in the lower right corner. If you want to be notified of new videos as soon as possible, please click the bell. You are also welcome to add likes and comments. Since this machine is called Ender 3 version 2, that's to say, it's largely improved by Ender 3 Pro. Regardless of the structure and installation method, it should be very similar to Ender 3 Pro. In that case, the focus today is not on installation. I will omit the parts that are very similar to Ender 3 Pro and only focus on those parts that have been converted. I hope to complete the installation in the fastest way and talk with the newcomers in the same time about what they must learn before 3D printing. And I will also share some of my experience with you. If you find the installation parts is too brief, you can refer to my video about the installation of Ender 3 Pro. They should be very similar. Here are all the parts of Ender 3 version 2. The biggest difference at a glance is this control panel. It is portrait instead of landscape. The other difference is the hot bed has been switched from magnetic cushion back to glass. If you have a look at other parts, you will find this accessory that uses the blue knob to adjust the belt. As for the manual, the printing quality is good. It's not a wall chart anymore, it's now a booklet. Put the parts into categories before you install them. Find the two poles of the gate. Identify which is the right one and which is the left one. Use 4 M5x45 screws to tighten them. There's a little difference from Ender 3 Pro. The transformer has been installed at the back. You don't have to install it by yourself. So the two holes on the right pole is of no use. Now is the time to install the limit switch of ESET access. I remember when I installed Ender 3 Pro, when I want to plug in the cable, I have to remove it. I have experience this time. I will plug in the cable before I install it. The installation of ESET access motor and screw are the same as before. In fact, after installing CL and Ender series for many times, Carlos knows that for Ender, you need more works on X-axis. Even so, it's actually very simple. Just use two M4x16 screws. Connect the X-axis to the part with two motors. Then find the belt. Pass one end of the belt over the gear of the X-axis and turn around. The part with the printed head should slide into the X-axis. And the most different part of Ender 3 V2 is this belt tightener. You can take it apart, pass the belt through the pulley of it, and then reinstall. Fix with a M4x16 screw on the front. Fix the back with a M4x14 screw. When the couple posts at both ends of the belt are hooked, you will find that it is very easy to tighten the belt now. Then slide the completed excesses into the gate. You have to rotate the EZ axis manually to drive the X axis down. Finally, use aluminum beam to seal the top and cover the lid. The installation of the control panel was left to the end. We use three T-nuts to install the bracket. After installing the bracket, the control panel can be buckled. The installation of the consumable bracket and the wiring are the same as before, so I'm not going to repeat it. It is worth mentioning that I have an extra accessory this time. It can be inserted into the E axis to help feeding. Carlos thinks that it is a very intimate design. As for the new control panel, there's no difficulty in using it. The text menu was changed into a graphical one. The usage is roughly the same. Carlos found that when moving a certain axis, after selecting the distance, you need to press again to move the axis. I disabled the steppers. Use traditional method to level the four corners. I used the new accessory to feed. 
Before using Ender 3v2 to print, let me tell you something about 3D printing that you need to know. Some of my friends worry about after buying a 3D printer and do not know how to design. The machine will become useless. But you have a requirements for life. Carlos won't agree. Because even if you don't know how to design, you can still download some. I would like to introduce a website to you called Thingiverse. It is a place to allow people to submit their 3D design. As long as you think of what you want, search on the website and you will find it. In the future, if you learn how to design, you can also contribute to this website. Like me, I also have the habit of uploading my own works. But if you want to design your own things, don't miss my last video. I have taught you how to use Fusion 360 to design small box. Now I need an USB MIDI box. Let me use Fusion 360 again to design box to install an Arduino Uno and then print it out with Ender 3 Pro and Ender 3 V2. You can refer to my video on last week to learn how to use Fusion 360. A warm reminder to design such functional products. The accuracy of dimension is very important, like the USB port on this small box and the whole position of the serial plug. If they are not accurate, you can't plug in. And these four holes for Arduino are the most important. In addition, the tenon between the box and the lid is also very important. And there should be no gaps between them. After you have successfully output the STL file, you have to open a software called Cura. Import the file. If the file location is not good, we need to use the rotation function to turn it to a more appropriate position. Generally speaking, it is best to have a large area touching the bed. Notice the print texture of this thread is related to the surface of your hot bed. For example, the surface of the magnetic cushion is different from the surface of glass. Beginners always worry about the setting of parameters, because if they are not set well, the printing will be worse. I think it's good to choose standard quality. And beginners shouldn't choose all in setting, because there are too many parameters. I think choosing custom selection or basic is enough. Here Carlos reminds everyone of several important parameters. The first is layer height. Generally speaking, we set 0.2. For more precision, set it to 0.1. The second parameter you should pay attention is the infill density. This is to control the density inside the printer object. Because the wall of my box is thin, so I choose 100%. But if you are going to print a figure, Maybe 50 or 20% is enough for you. Then come to the temperature setting. The preset is 200 for print head and 50 for hot pad. And it is suitable for printing PLA. But sometimes you need to adjust it according to the material and the room temperature. As for the use of support, it depends on whether your design is woolly. Carlos generally does not like to use support because I don't like to remove support after printing. Finally, you should choose from the build plate adhesion to indicate how you want your print to touch the hot bed. Here are the choices. They are skirt, blim, and raft. Generally, I will choose skirt. The skirt will be printed next to the object before printing. But if you're confident about your leveling, it doesn't matter if you choose none. Then press the slice button to slice. You will notice that it takes 3 hours and 35 minutes to print a lead. Then reprocess the box with the same parameters. And press the preview button to use this fader to preview the printing process. At this moment, we didn't choose to print the skirt. But after choosing the skirt and slice again, when previewing, you will see that the first layer has printed skirt. Since we didn't use support, there are two places that are more dangerous when printing, including the top of the USB plug and the top of the serial plug. I would say that they are dangerous because there's no support when printing these two positions and they will drop. But since these two holes are prepared for two plugs, after printing, I can use a small file to adjust them. You can save the G-code if you think that there's no problem with the preview. If you have inserted SD card 
or USB drive, the button will turn from safe to far to safe to removable. Another warm reminder, since it takes 9 hours to print this box, the whole design must be careful so as not to discover the problem of the printing. Here Carlos uses the original SD card to store the files because other cards cannot be compatible. I cannot find the reason, so I keep on using this card. As for selecting print to TF card on the menu, now it becomes a print icon. Select the file and press the button. It will automatically start heating and printing. This machine maintains the usual level of quiet printing. Carlos used to touch with his finger when printing the skirt. I will judge the leveling with my experience. Problems can be corrected instantly when printing skirts. By observing whether the color of the first layer is even, we can judge whether the print is attached well on the hot bed. Generally, when the first layer is completed, you can lift to have a break. Since I used 100% filled in, a thin lid took three and a half hours. When I come back from the afternoon tea, the hot bed has cooled down and the print part can be taped off easily. We can observe the print quality, especially notice the very delicate position. For a figure, the print quality only affects the outlook. But for a product, the print quality will affect the function. Here we can also compare the lid printed with V2 and the box printed with Pro. What's the difference? In fact, the two machines are similar. But the surface for lattice glass is shiny, but the surface of magnetic cushion is closed. But you can change the hot bed at any time at your will. Generally speaking, it is a common sense that the second version is improved. For this graphical control panel, it is much more humanistic than the traditional one. Although when I used the Ender 3 Pro last time, I thought that the magnetic hot bed is good. But compared to the latest cars I used to, you can debat immediately after cooling. It is really lovable. If you don't mind paying a small amount of money, Carlos personally recommends you to buy Ender 3 version 2. If you like my video, please support. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.